Reverend Insanity Chapter 1E176 Crazed Demon Agreement The route to leave Crazed Demon Cave was much shorter than going in. Some days later, Fang Yuan arrived in High Fan Grotto Heaven. To think that Chu Du also has a Super Gu formation, and has even set it up to transport Gu Immortals in and out of High Fan Grotto Heaven. Fang Yuan felt admiration towards Chu Du's foresight and preparation. This was his backup. As long as he set up a teleportation Gu formation in the outside world that was not discovered, Chu Du and the others would not be trapped in High Fan Grotto Heaven by Heavenly Lord Bai Zhu. This showed that even though Chu Du resisted Heavenly Lord Bai Zhu and had a strong attitude, he was not just being rash and reckless. Brother Liu, you have arrived. Chu Du was already standing outside the formation, waiting for Fang Yuan. Seeing Fang Yuan, he showed joy on his face. Fang Yuan sighed. Fate toys with people. If there were no mishaps, High Fan Grotto Heaven would have already become a peaceful paradise. Fang Yuan looked around, only to see that High Fan Grotto Heaven had rising smoke and flames. Beast growls could be heard. There were large pits on the ground. Fierce battles were happening far away. Chu Du introduced at an appropriate timing. High Fan Grotto Heaven has huge space. Heavenly Lord Bai Zhu is continuously sending in desolate beasts to invade. But I have already invited several experts. They are staying guard at different locations. While I am here to prevent Heavenly Lord Bai Zhu from coming in personally. Fang Yuan had a solemn expression. His gaze held deep meaning. Brother Chu, you have heavy responsibilities. I did not disappoint you. I brought what you need. Saying this, Fang Yuan waved his sleeves as two wills flew out from them. The wills flew to the air and turned into the figures of Not Immortal and Pang Shan. From the outside, one could vaguely see the immortal essence and immortal goo that they were carrying. Fang Yuan did not keep these two wills in his own immortal aperture. The sovereign immortal aperture could not be exposed. In this current situation, the wills of Not Immortal and Pang Shan could not be targeted. Along the way, Fang Yuan had thought of harming these two wills and taking those extremely precious immortal goo for himself. But this was very unlikely. The main reason was that Fang Yuan had an alliance agreement. Once he attacked, it would activate, he would die from the backlash. Secondly, these two immortal goo were not easy to snatch. Because the Goo Immortal's will was not just carrying the Immortal Goo, the Immortal Goo itself inside it was filled with will. With just a thought, these two Immortal Goo would self-detonate. Thank you. Chu Du said as he kept Pang Shan's will in his Immortal Aperture directly. This small detail was noticed by Fang Yuan. He noted it internally. The Immortal Aperture was the basis of a Goo Immortal, it was the most reliable source of resources. One would not expose it to outsiders normally. Chu Du seemed to greatly trust Pang Shan. Chu Du said to Not Immortal's will, Not Immortal, you can stay with this ally of mine. Not Immortal stroked his beard, smiling at Fang Yuan. My main body guessed correctly, you really chose this person. What do you mean? Fang Yuan asked. He was filled with questions and suspicions on this trip to Cray's Demon Cave. Chu Du explained, I will summarize it. Cray's Demon Cave is one of the ten great fierce areas in Northern Plains on the surface, but it was actually specially created by Limitless Demon Venerable in his later years to pursue the secrets of eternal life. Limitless Demon Venerable refined the legendary derivation Gu. He hid inside Cray's Demon Cave and did experiments and goo refinements on it, hoping to reach a breakthrough. Limitless Demon Venerable. Eternal Life. Fang Yuan's eyes shined brightly. Did Limitless Demon Venerable succeed? Not Immortals will shook his head. We are unclear on that. Limitless Demon Venerable's whereabouts are not listed clearly in historical records. The conclusion is, he went missing mysteriously. Whether he succeeded or failed, we do not know. However, not immortals will said, what Chu Du said is true. 
Cray's Demon Cave was indeed where Limitless Demon Venerable stayed in his later years. Derivation Goo is currently at the deepest layer of Cray's Demon Cave. Around Derivation Goo, there is a huge Super Goo formation set up. Derivation Goo, Fang Yuan muttered. This goo was extremely famous, not just goo immortals, even almost all goo masters knew about it. The reason was that it was inside the Legends of Renzu. Towards the end of the Legends of Renzu, after the Seven Heavens broke, Renzu's ten children died one by one, and Renzu was about to die of old age. But at the end, Renzu gathered the corpses of his ten children and sacrificed himself, all entering the stomach of Derivation Goo. Derivation Goo's stomach burst, exploding as the light of life spread across the land, creating the first batch of mortals. These mortals did not have Ren Zhu or the Ten Children's aptitude, but they could cultivate after awakening their aperture. Humanity thus grew and developed, forming today's size. During this process, ten rank nine venerables were born. Each of them led their own era and left deep marks on the world. Eventually, Today's situation in the five regions was formed. Limitless Demon Venerable actually obtained Derivation Gu. Was he trying to imitate Ren Zhu and create the human race again? Fang Yuan sighed in shock as he asked. That's not the case. Not Immortal answered. Ren Zhu created humanity. It is an unparalleled method of human path. Limitless Demon Venerable, however, cultivated rule path. He wanted to use Derivation Goo to derive new Tao marks, eventually using these Tao marks as clues to reach eternal life. Using Derivation Goo to derive Tao marks, Fang Yuan was shocked. Chu Du nodded. Even though this is the estimation of the three crazed demon eccentrics, Kray's Demon Cave has physical proof of it. The demonic sounds inside Kray's Demon Cave were the result of Limitless Demon Venerable's Super Goo formation. His motive was not to make all the living beings go crazy, that was only the side effect. His true motive was to cause changes in the Tao marks in their bodies, to create brand new Tao marks. So that's it, Fang Yuan's mind shook. He thought about it and asked, Does that really work? Not Immortal followed up. The deeper you go into Kray's demon cave, the stronger the demonic sounds. Among chaotic Tao marks, new Tao marks do indeed form. But these new Tao marks will be transferred to the deepest layer due to the Super Goo formation. Us three crazed demon eccentrics want to get through these obstacles of Tao marks and enter the core of the Super Goo formation to control Derivation Goo and make this Super Goo formation work for us. Precisely as a result, the three crazed demon eccentrics need my strength, Chu Du said. Fang Yuan realized at once he had a guess. As expected, Chu Du's following words affirmed his guess. At the lowest layer, all sorts of Tao marks of all paths are present. The three crazed demon eccentrics have their own specialties, but their strength path attainment is below mine. Thus, they invited me, wanting to use my understanding towards strength path and methods to resolve their obstacles in terms of strength path Tao marks. Not immortals will side. It is not about helping us three crazed demon eccentrics, it is about helping yourselves. We, the three crazed demon eccentrics have been in crazed demon cave for hundreds of years. Even though we are making progress, it is not evident. The secret of eternal life, it is not something the three of us can obtain with just our power. We need you, and you need us, only by working together can we obtain the fruits of limitless demon venerable's labor. The three crazed demon eccentrics went through hundreds of years without much progress. They could only recruit new people to help. Chu Du was their target. And Chu Du thought that Fang Yuan was suitable. Because of reckless savage true meaning, Chu Du felt that he was going to sustain his cooperation with Fang Yuan for a long time. They had to obtain deeper connections. Thus, he gave the three crazed demon eccentrics token to Fang Yuan, and asked him to find them. Among the three eccentrics, Not Immortal and Pang Shan saw Chu Du's intent, thus they were very warm to Fang Yuan. Chu Du, you are a strength path great expert, 
right now in Northern Plains, no, in the five regions, you are an authoritative figure of strength path. It is not strange that you were chosen by the three seniors of Kray's Demon Cave, but what abilities do I have to be chosen? Fang Yuan asked. Chu Du laughed loudly. Brother Liu, don't be so humble. You are a transformation path rank 7 Gu Immortal. You can disguise as a rank 6 without showing any flaws. I saw your tribulation, even though I only took a look. The power of the calamity was immense. It shows your deep foundation. Looking over the entire Northern Plains Gu Immortal world, in terms of transformation path achievement, hardly anyone can compete with you. What? He is a rank 7 Gu Immortal? Hearing Chu Du's words, even not Immortal's will was shocked. He assessed Fang Yuan again. Impressive. His transformation path foundation is truly deep. Be it my main body or Pang Shan's main body, we could not tell. Fang Yuan smiled bitterly. This was mainly due to his immortal killer move familiar face. Of course, there was also the impression left on Chu Du by the calamities. Familiar face was indeed a transformation path immortal killer move. Fang Yuan knew. Even though his transformation path attainment level was not low, his foundation was superficial. He was relying on familiar face to make others misunderstand him. But this misunderstanding was quite good. Fang Yuan thus used familiar face to raise his aura from rank 6 to rank 7. Not Immortal felt Fang Yuan's aura change and stared with wide-opened eyes, completely shocked. I was not intending to deceive you, but I was going into a dangerous place. I had to conceal myself for survival. I hope you will not blame me. Fang Yuan apologized to Not Immortal's will, speaking politely and having a sincere tone. Not Immortal's will quickly waved his hand. I have learned much. Indeed, Domination Immortal has good foresight. His attitude had changed drastically. Interaction between Gu Immortals mostly depended on strength. Chu Du was solemn. Brother Liu, are you willing to join us in the search for the secret of eternal life, Limitless Demon Venerable's achievement in his later years? Of course I am willing. Fang Yuan was similarly solemn. Not Immortals will stroked his beard. Then after this battle, can Brother Liu go to Kray's Demon Cave? We will set the Kray's Demon Agreement. All right, Fang Yuan replied curtly. Next, Not Immortal can follow Brother Liu. Chu Du arranged. This arrangement was very sincere. If Chu Du kept Not Immortal and Pang Shan's will, he would have both Immortal Gu know and care. He would be able to break his agreement without facing backlash. But if he separated both Immortal Gu, no Immortal Gu would be in Fang Yuan's hand. While care Immortal Gu would be with Chu Du, not only can it dispel Fang Yuan's suspicions, it would also let Fang Yuan feel the sincerity of Chu Du and the three crazed demon eccentrics. However, Fang Yuan waved his hand, saying something overbearing, If both of you can trust me, I will keep no Immortal Gu. Not Immortal's will and Immortal Essence can be kept by Brother Chu. Not Immortal's will was dazed before stroking his beard. Chu Du laughed. Brother Liu, oh, you are seriously vigilant. All right, we will go with that. Chapter 1E177, e Contest over High Fan Grotto Heaven 13. Several days later, High Fan Grotto Heaven. Stiff horse hooves stomped on the ground. A black desolate beast horse was charging towards Fang Yuan while running like the wind. Fang Yuan sighed internally. He could have dodged, but a trench was behind him. Inside the trench, there were the multicolored guts that Chu Du had placed before. After placing these multicolored guts, they needed to absorb enough earth kai and nutrients before they could be relocated again. If they were forcefully moved, they would be destroyed. Thus, a lot of the resources in High Fan Grotto Heaven were moved back into his own immortal aperture by Chu Du. But some of the resources, like the multicolored guts, could not be taken away in the short term. Ever since Fang Yuan brought the two immortal Gu to Chu Du, he was asked to defend this place, to protect the multicolored guts from harm. Of course, his services were not free. 
Chu Du had already promised Fang Yuan that in the end, he would give half of the multicolored guts that were left to Fang Yuan as payment. Flying Bear Transformation Fang Yuan's body shined with dazzling light. After the light faded, he turned into a huge white bear, using his firm chest to block the charge of the desolate beast horse. Flying Bear Fang Yuan took five to six steps back, almost falling to the ground. But the desolate beast horse went to a standstill, shaking its head as it felt dizzy. Nice strength, Fang Yuan said. The pain in his chest made him grind his teeth, but the words he said turned into the growling of the bear. Flying Bear Fang Yuan breathed roughly for a few seconds, seeing that the desolate beast horse was still dizzy, he pounced at it. Boom! Dust clouds rose, the surrounding scenery shook. Flying Bear Fang Yuan slammed the desolate beast horse to the ground, raising his huge bear paws as he struck at the horse. The horse was crying out in pain, struggling under Fang Yuan's body. It had great strength, but Fang Yuan was unmoved, he suppressed the horse firmly. Thankfully, I added Flying Bear Strength Goo into my Flying Bear Transformation Killer move. I have the strength of an actual flying bear. Otherwise, I would not be able to suppress this desolate beast horse. Fang Yuan felt secretly glad as he acted more quickly. In a while, the desolate beast horse had saliva foaming out from its mouth, its eyes rolled backwards as it fainted. Fang Yuan chuckled, deactivating the killer move as he turned back to human. He next opened his immortal aperture, storing the desolate beast horse into his sovereign immortal aperture. This is the third desolate beast, Fang Yuan thought to himself, having a distracted gaze. He was at the rear. Dao marks were more abundant here. Heavenly Lord Bai Zhu would not choose to send his desolate beasts here. It was difficult for them to reach this place and not worth it. After Fang Yuan learned about the secret of Cray's demon cave, he expressed his willingness to join in. He and Chu Du's relationship progressed further. In order to defend his benefits, Chu Du sent Fang Yuan here to guard the place. Even though the battle was intense, Fang Yuan had an easy time. These last few days, the desolate beasts that had gone past the front lines numbered to three, two desolate beast horses and one desolate beast shark fin wolf. Fang Yuan treated them as his practice partners for transformation path. He killed the first two, he only captured the desolate beast horse from earlier. The desolate beast horse earlier had no shadow. It should be the famous shadowless horse of Northern Plains. The shadowless horse had no shadow. This was an obvious trait. Even though Fang Yuan had not seen this desolate beast before, he could recognize it. Even though the shadowless horse was a desolate beast, it was quite a rare one. It was not commonly sold in Treasure Yellow Heaven. Mainly because shadowless horses were low in numbers to begin with. This shadowless horse was Heavenly Lord Bai Zhu's desolate beast. After Fang Yuan kept it into his immortal aperture, he immediately used perceivable Dao immortal goo to inspect it. Indeed, Fang Yuan realized that on the shadowless horse's body, other than dark path and light path Dao marks, there were also many enslavement path Dao marks. After several attempts, Fang Yuan realized he could not get rid of these enslavement path Dao marks. Thus, he gave up and killed the shadowless horse. This shadowless horse was enslaved by Heavenly Lord Bai Zhu. Placing it in his immortal aperture would only cause it to destroy the environment. He might as well kill the shadowless horse and sell the horse bones and flesh in Treasure Yellow Heaven for some profits. A living shadowless horse had greater value, but it was Heavenly Lord Bai Zhu's property. Others could not enslave it. Other Gu immortals were not idiots. They would not buy this problematic horse. Furthermore, selling this shadowless horse openly would naturally be discovered by Heavenly Lord Bai Zhu. He might use his relationships to buy this horse indirectly. Not only would he gain the attention of a rank 8 Gu immortal, he would also be strengthening his enemy. Thus, Fang Yuan killed it. After cutting up this shadowless horse and processing it, Fang Yuan put up a portion of it into Treasure Yellow Heaven for sale. 
he realized that these last few days, the two desolate beast corpses that he tossed into treasure yellow heaven had almost no popularity. These two desolate beast corpses were taken out from Cray's Demon Cave, the Monkey King Corpse and Tree Python Corpse. Before selling them, Fang Yuan had used perceivable Dao Immortal Gu to inspect them. He realized that the Monkey King and Tree Python Corpses had all sorts of Dao marks. Normally speaking, desolate beasts would only have Dao marks of one specific path. Obviously, the demonic sounds in Cray's Demon Cave had caused this situation. The demonic sounds were created by Limitless Demon Venerable's Super Goo Formation. It could make the listener go berserk, while also transforming their body's Dao marks into all sorts of strange Dao marks. Fang Yuan thought about it. He retrieved these two desolate beast corpses and placed them back into his sovereign immortal aperture. The longer he placed them in treasure yellow heaven, the more fees he would incur, it was not worth the price. Other than these desolate beast corpses, Fang Yuan also brought back large numbers of mortal goo, among which day goo, month goo, and year goo were the highest in number. Other than those, there were goo worms of other varieties. Ever since Fang Yuan obtained Hai Fan's true inheritance, he had been purchasing these mortal goo in Treasure Yellow Heaven. When he used a time path immortal killer move, it expended a lot of them. Other than day, month, and year mortal goo, Fang Yuan's greatest need in terms of mortal goo was self will goo. But self will goo was very rare. Fang Yuan mainly asked the hairy man goo masters in Lang Ye sect to refine them, expending his sect contribution points. Fang Yuan had been asking in Treasure Yellow Heaven if anyone was selling heavenly crystals. Up until now, he had only found two. One was a rank 8 Gu Immortal. They wanted to trade with materials, but Fang Yuan did not have what they wanted. The other was rank 6. Due to a fortuitous encounter, they obtained half a piece of heavenly crystal. They wanted to sell it since they did not need it. Fang Yuan wanted to buy it but a goo immortal who wanted heavenly crystals even more appeared, buying it with three times the usual price. Fang Yuan thought about it and gave up. Even though he had a lot of resources, the fifth earthly calamity was coming at that time. It was not worth it for that tiny heavenly crystal. Ow, oh, at this time, Fang Yuan suddenly received Chu Du's message. He asked him to reinforce Lai Si Chun. The situation over there was very dangerous. He needed backup. These last few days, this was the first message that Fang Yuan received. He immediately went to the battlefield. There, Lai Si Chun and Immortal Wang were already in a tough battle. A group of desolate beast wolves were encircling them. They were huge in numbers. There were a hundred of them. But Fang Yuan was not surprised. He had obtained much intel from Chudu. Heavenly Lord Bai Zhu had an immortal killer move. It could create clones of desolate beasts to form a clone army. There would only be one actual desolate beast, but if it could not be found, these clones would quickly replenish themselves endlessly. Each desolate beast had one figure of Heavenly Lord Bai Zhu seated on them. They were clones as well. Then, which one is the main body? Fang Yuan frowned. At the next moment, he used myriad self. Countless strength path phantoms filled the sky as they charged at the wolf group. It's Liu Guanyi, Lai Si Chun sensed as he cried out in joy. Immortal Wang snorted coldly. Last time, Fang Yuan made him bait. His impression regarding Fang Yuan was at rock bottom. Right now, even though Fang Yuan was here to help, he was not grateful. The myriad self army and the wolf group tangled together. Two breaths of time later, the myriad self-army broke apart. They were almost completely killed by the wolf group. Matched against Heavenly Lord Bai Zhu's cloning killer move, Fang Yuan's myriad self really paled in comparison. Myriad self had huge potential. It was an immortal killer move combining strength path and enslavement path. But as his opponents got stronger, its usefulness was falling drastically. In the past, the myriad self-army could fight. But now, it had become Fang Yuan's method of concealing his true body. 
Even though they had quantity, they lacked quality and battle strength. Myriad Self Giant Hand Only after Fang Yuan used Myriad Self First Style was there a change in the situation. Against the Strength Path Giant Hand, the desolate beast wolves could barely resist. Snowy Mountain Blessed Land First Peak The Refinement Path Goo Formation was activated. Shining lights were enveloping the peak of the mountain like a miniature sun. Third Time Lady Wan Shu breathed in deeply. She was holding on to a condensed lightning ball as she got closer to Ma Hong Yun who was in the formation. Ma Hong Yun shouted, No, no, let me off. I am going to die. I will die. The lightning ball entered his chest. Clap, clap, clap. Countless sparks appeared on his body. Ma Hong Yun's eyes were turning as the whites were exposed. He no longer leaked out saliva but blood instead. He fainted again. After a while, the lightning vanished. I failed again. Lady Wan Shu's vision turned dark. An intense dizziness almost made her collapse to the ground. She forced herself to continue, disregarding her injuries and healing Ma Hong Yun instead. Ma Hong Yun had to be alive for the lightning refinement to work. Hmm. This guy's cultivation level actually rose by one rank. During the process of healing, Lady Wan Shu discovered an anomaly. Is it because of the lightning refinement? Indeed, some relic goo were used. It can raise the goo master's cultivation level. Dear, are you all right, old ancestor Zhu who arrived at this time? No need to worry. Lady Wan Shu was still pale, but she smiled to old ancestor Zhu who, I just need to rest for a while to recover. Chapter 1A178, Contest over High Fan Grotto Heaven 23 Inside High Fan Grotto Heaven The desolate beast wolf group that numbered to a hundred was charging towards them. Hao Jen and Chu Lao Wu stood side by side, having solemn expressions. They looked at each other before using their strongest technique again, Immortal Killer Move Wind Thunder Roar. Bam! The wind and lightning pillar swept the battlefield. At once, the earth shook. The sky trembled. Few desolate beast wolves were left. They had suffered immense damage. Fang Yuan and the others were right beside Hao Zhen and Chu Lao Wu. Their expressions changed. Every time they saw wind thunder roar, they felt their hearts shaking. Such battle strength was truly at the peak of rank 7. Those desolate beast wolves were mostly clones, even weaker than their true bodies. They could not withstand wind thunder roar. Even two true bodies died. The final one had been lucky enough to survive this wind thunder roar because it was at the back of the group. Kill it. We cannot let this true body escape. Otherwise, in a few hours, it will have another group of clones protecting it again. Gu Immortal Wai Ming shouted, pouncing at it. This Gu Immortal's eyes were shut. He was a blind man. He had rank 7 cultivation level and incredible battle strength. He became blind on purpose as he pursued battle strength. Be careful, there is a fragrant sorcerer Yin statue wolf. At the next moment, Immortal Wang shouted frantically. Wai Ming's body froze. At that moment, a fragrant sorcerer Yin statue wolf appeared out of nowhere. Its sharp fangs were about to bite Wai Ming. Wai Ming snorted coldly, his body retreated backwards towards the left like an illusory shadow. The fragrant sorcerer Yin statue wolf bit, but it missed by an inch. Its sharp teeth did not land on Wai Ming. Wai Ming broke out in cold sweat, suddenly saying, Oh no! At the next moment, the fragrant sorcerer Yin statue wolf opened its mouth as a lump of green wind shot towards Wai Ming like a plasma cannon. Wai Ming's defenses lasted for a short while before they were torn apart. His entire body was shredded into countless pieces of flesh. Heavenly Lord Bai Zhu's clone stood arrogantly on the fragrant sorcerer Yin statue wolf's head. He had a cold expression as immortal Gu Aura emanated from him. You ran away quickly, but next time, you will not be so lucky. Heavenly Lord Bai Zhu said coldly. So close, so close. Thankfully, I used my body replacement killer move. 
the real Wai Ming showed himself, he had managed to escape. This happened again. The immortals' gazes focused on Heavenly Lord Bai Zhu. They had heavy hearts. The fragrant sorcerer Yin Statue Wolf was an ancient desolate beast. It had rank 7 battle strength. Heavenly Lord Bai Zhu's clone could use immortal goo, coordinating with the fragrant sorcerer Yin Statue Wolf. He would observe the situation and use the immortal goo at appropriate times, because of that, their combined battle strength was many times higher. At the start, Heavenly Lord Bai Zhu was sending large numbers of desolate beasts to invade Hai Fan Grotto Heaven. But now, he gained a deeper understanding of Hai Fan Grotto Heaven. He could use desolate beasts and clones to create battle opportunities, to even send in ancient desolate beasts. Every ancient desolate beast was accompanied by a clone of Heavenly Lord Bai Zhu. This combination had appeared many times already, it was gradually changing the battle situation. Immortal Wang immediately turned into the falling star hound, saying human words, Brother Hao and Brother Chu, quickly retreat. This fragrant sorcerer Yin statue wolf has hidden itself. It probably is attempting to target you too. Hao Zhen and Chu Lao Wu had pale faces, they were very weak. Wind thunder roar was powerful, but using this move had a huge price. For the following period of time, Chu Lao Wu and Hao Zhen would have reduced battle strength, their usefulness would fall drastically. This contest over Hai Fan Grotto Heaven had been ongoing for days. Hao Zhen and Chu Lao Wu's Wind Thunder Roar was a powerful tool, especially useful against desolate beast groups. All the Gu Immortals agreed on this. Thus, for the eventual victory, the Gu Immortals were intentionally protecting the lives of Hao Zhen and Chu Lao Wu. Chu Lao Wu and Hao Zhen also understood this. They immediately retreated. I will escort you. Lai Si Chun flew to them. Fang Yuan, Immortal Wang, and Wai Ming were left. Quickly settle this ancient desolate beast. About 3,000 lie away. Another ancient desolate beast has appeared. At this time, Chu Du sent them a message. I will block it from the front. The two of you find a chance to kill it, Immortal Wang howled, turning into the falling star hound to face the fragrant sorcerer Yin statue wolf. Fang Yuan and Wai Ming cooperated. One flew into the sky while the other went to the back, attacking at the same time. An intense battle ensued. Immortal Wang was temporarily matched against it. Fang Yuan found a chance and flying sword Immortal Gu flew over. Ding. With a loud sound, Heavenly Lord Bai Zhu's clone used his immortal goo and blocked it. Use an immortal killer move. What can an immortal goo do on its own? Woof. When immortal Wang felt anxious, he would subconsciously bark like a dog. What do you know? Fang Yuan sneered in disdain. At the next moment, Wai Ming attacked. A light path immortal killer move destroyed Heavenly Lord Bai Zhu's clone. It turned out, Fang Yuan had attacked on purpose to draw the attention of Heavenly Lord Bai Zhu's clone, so that Wai Ming could find a chance to attack. As they continued to fight, the Gu Immortals in Hai Fan Grotto Heaven started to develop some coordination. They are just clones, they have limited intelligence. But this type of immortal Gu usage is truly incredible, Fang Yuan sighed internally. He had already felt this many times. Destroying the Heavenly Lord Bai Zhu clone did not destroy the Immortal Goo. It seemed like the Immortal Goo was also a clone that was with Heavenly Lord Bai Zhu's clone. It was unknown how Heavenly Lord Bai Zhu managed to do that. Thus, Heavenly Lord Bai Zhu's strength was only slightly weakened. He did not suffer much losses. Next, the three Immortals attacked the fragrant sorcerer Yin Statue Wolf. This ancient desolate beast was covered with Dao marks. It had incredible defense. Fang Yuan used Flying Sword Immortal Gu, but could only puncture its skin and fur. After piercing deeply into its flesh, it could not move anymore. Even the Immortal Killer Move Sword Mark targeting death was inefficient. A lot of its power was negated by the fragrant Sorcerer Yin Statue Wolf's Dao marks. Thankfully, without the help of Heavenly Lord Bai Zhu's clone, 
The fragrant sorcerer Yin statue Wolf's intelligence alone could not match the three immortals. During this period, many distorted shadows had appeared in the sky. Heavenly Lord Bai Zhu was attempting to send in more clones to help the fragrant sorcerer Yin statue Wolf. But Fang Yuan and the rest discovered them in time and attacked, preventing the Heavenly Lord clones from reaching the fragrant sorcerer Yin statue Wolf. Minutes later, this fragrant sorcerer Yin statue Wolf was killed and cut into pieces by Fang Yuan and the rest. They split up the flesh into three portions evenly among themselves. The death of an ancient desolate beast was quite a loss to Heavenly Lord Bai Zhu. But in this situation, in order to take down Hai Fan Grotto Heaven, he had to continue. Fang Yuan and the others had severe losses too, especially Fang Yuan. His green grape immortal essence expenditure was huge. We have been fighting a lot these last days. If this continues, my green grape immortal essence will be used up. Fang Yuan showed no expression, but he was getting anxious internally. The other Gu Immortals were rank 7. They used Red Date Immortal Essence to activate rank 7 Immortal Gu. It was fitting. But Fang Yuan used Green Grape Immortal Essence. It was very hard and inefficient. Thankfully, Fang Yuan had good finances. He sold Desolate Beast and Ancient Desolate Beast corpses from time to time, sustaining his expenditure. After killing this fragrant sorcerer Yin Statue Wolf, the three immortals went to the next battlefield, they had no time to rest. The situation was getting worse. Some days ago, Fang Yuan could still hide inside the trench and guard the multicolored guts. But recently, he had to go around helping out the others. Right now, he was like a firefighter, he could not rest, he had to travel and help out the different battlefields. Heavenly Lord Bai Zhu's main body was blocked by Chu Du, but he had incredible methods. He continued to send in ancient desolate beasts and desolate beasts. It caused the situation in Hai Fan Grotto Heaven to tilt in his favor. A moment later, Fang Yuan and the rest arrived. It was a heavenly dragon. It had seven claws and a terrifying dragon head. It was an ancient desolate beast. Someone was already fighting the heavenly dragon. In order to defend Hai Fan Grotto Heaven, Chu Du spent a lot of funds getting more Gu Immortal experts to help him, other than Immortal Wang's group. This female Gu Immortal, Sang Kink, was one of them. Her path was very special, it was actually Theft Path. This was the path created by Thieving Heaven Demon Venerable, there were few inheritances regarding it. Sang Kink was at a disadvantage, she was unable to hold much longer. Even though she had stolen a lot of mortal goo from the heavenly dragon's body, it had little effect on the enemy. Fang Yuan and the rest quickly went to help, attacking the ancient desolate beast heavenly dragon. This time, they were not as lucky as last time. After spending a lot of effort, the immortals finally killed heavenly lord Bai Zhu's clone. Killing the heavenly dragon took multiple times as long as the last beast, because the heavenly dragon could fly and was very fast, it was not easy to hunt. After killing this heavenly dragon, Fang Yuan's mood became grimmer. In the battle, his immortal essence expenditure was several times that of before. Currently, his usage was greatly exceeding his gain in immortal essence stones. At this rate, in a few days, he would be out of immortal essence. The Gu Immortals gathered together and split the Heavenly Dragon Corpse. When Chu Du spoke, Quick, the battle earlier was a decoy by Heavenly Lord. He has already planted a field of desolate plant snow willows here. We have to get rid of them. Once Heavenly Lord gets a foothold in here, the consequences will be severe. Fang Yuan and the rest noticed how dangerous the situation was. They did not dare to wait. They acted immediately. A moment later, they arrived at the scene. The situation was far more severe than they had expected. Not only was there a field of desolate plant snow willows, there were a hundred ice spike divine apes to guard them. Snow willows had an abundance of snow path Dao marks. The ice spike divine ape was also ice path. The two complemented each other, and countless heavenly lord clones were moving around the snow willow forest, setting up goo formations. 
We have to destroy this camp. The longer we drag on, the greater his advantage. Chu Du said, if there is no other way, I will act myself. You should stay there and defend against Heavenly Lord. If his main body comes in, we are all finished. Hao Zhen quickly responded. He and Chu Lao Wu had also arrived. Even though he had not recovered, the situation was dire, they had to risk their lives. At the next moment, six Gu immortals split up and charged towards the Snow Willow Forest, engaging in an intense battle. Chapter 1A179 Contest over High Fan Grotto Heaven 33 Huff, huff, huff. Fang Yuan floated in the air, breathing roughly as he looked at the battlefield. An intense battle had ended. The battlefield was completely deformed. There were many pits with mangled corpses of ice spike divine apes inside. Flames that were created with fire path killer moves were still burning quietly. There was frost mixed with blood, snapped bones and flesh, as well as leaves from the desolate plant snow willows. The goo immortals were either injured or dead. They were all injured, but the one that died was the theft path female goo immortal. She had not been killed by the heavenly dragon, but was killed by the cooperation of heavenly lord Bai Zhu's clones when she rushed to assist in the battle, losing her life. Fang Yuan was also injured. His left lung was punctured by an ice spike. An icicle with the size of a javelin was still stabbed into his chest. His lower limbs were covered in a thick layer of frost. Much of his flesh had already gone necrotic. The sovereign immortal body had a huge advantage. That was the non-conflicting Dao marks. But this was also a major flaw. Once Fang Yuan was hit by an attack that penetrated his defenses, he would take the damage fully, the attacks would not be weakened by the Dao marks in his body. In this battle, Fang Yuan learned deeply about the weak point of the sovereign immortal body due to this trait. My defensive killer move is still too weak. Blood asset immortal goo is still recovering. I cannot use blood-stained conqueror's robe. My time path defensive methods are not exemplary either. Even though Fang Yuan obtained Hai Fan's true inheritance, the true core immortal goo, years flow like water, was sealed. This immortal goo had a huge flaw. Once its aura was leaked, it would draw immemorial year beasts to it. Once something of rank 8 battle strength entered Fang Yuan's sovereign immortal aperture, he would definitely lose. He would only be able to leave his body as a soul and give up on the sovereign immortal body. Hai Fan's true inheritance had very outstanding defensive methods, but they used years flow like water as the core. Fang Yuan's current defensive killer move used Year Gu, the effect was weaker. It was what Hai Fan used in his earlier days. When he reached rank 7, he stopped using it. Heavenly Lord Bai Zhu is an enslavement path, rank 8 indeed, truly formidable. Even though he is outside the Grotto Heaven, and only using his clones to battle. He can still fight to this extent, I am truly inferior. And the distortion of space to send desolate beasts and ancient desolate beasts into the grotto heaven. It is truly extraordinary. In this battle, Heavenly Lord Baizu sent in a hundred ice spike divine apes and a large number of desolate plant snow willows. During the process of fighting, distorted shadows appeared constantly. Even though the Goo Immortals desperately tried to block them, two Icefall Divine Apes still managed to get in. Ice Spike Divine Ape Icefall Divine Ape The two were closely related. The former was a desolate beast. It had jade green eyes with frosty azure pupils. The hairs on its body were like icicles all over it. The latter was an ancient desolate beast. Its body was like snow. Its eyes were bloodshot. Its fur was like icicles stabbing towards the sky. Fang Yuan was familiar with the ice spike divine ape long ago. Lang Ya Blessed Land had one. Later, Fang Yuan borrowed it to defend Hu Immortal Blessed Land. He defended against a wave of attacks from Immortal Crane Sect. After that, the ice spike divine ape died during the battle to defend Lang Ya Blessed Land. Fang Yuan had also fought against the Icefall divine ape. 
that was during Hai Lu Lan's immortal ascension, the tribulation in the northern icy plain, because of reckless savage's true meaning, it turned into the divine ape. Right now it seems, the icefall divine ape created from the tribulation cannot match a real divine ape in battle strength. Actually, if these desolate beasts and desolate plants are all there is to it, it is not difficult to deal with even though it is troublesome. Most importantly, Heavenly Lord Bai Zhu's clones are manipulating and controlling them. That makes a completely different story. Especially the desolate beasts and desolate plants. They form into troops and move as one. They have incredible battle strength when enslavement path killer moves are used. It is very shocking. Fang Yuan recalled the entire battle. He could see how powerful a rank 8 Gu Immortal was. Even though his main body did not enter the battlefield by just directing the battle in the Grotto Heaven, Fang Yuan was not his match. They were able to win in battle because all of the immortals gathered their strength. Such a miserable battle, if we were to fight a few more of those, my green grape immortal essence would be completely dried up. Year Gu has fallen in terms of years, I need to parallel refine it. Healing my injuries also consumed a lot of time and immortal essence. Fang Yuan could not bear such expenditure. Heavenly Lord Bai Zhu's losses were more severe than Fang Yuan's. Fighting up to this point, Chu Du's side had been relying on High Fan Grotto Heaven. Dragging on this battle into a deadlock, the two sides were truly in a battle of attrition. The Gu Immortals expended their immortal essence, while Heavenly Lord Bai Zhu expended the foundation in the Grotto Heaven. Both sides could not back down, they were trying to see which would be unable to continue first. The following battles became more intense. Heavenly Lord Bai Zhu's attempts might have failed, but there was an effect. He had attempted to create temporary bases in High Fan Grotto Heaven, after he stabilized a foothold. He sent in ancient desolate beasts, causing Chu Du's side to have much difficulty in defending. Looking at the entire battle in High Fan Grotto Heaven, Heavenly Lord Bai Zhu had initially sent clones to attack the different resource points and target Chu Du's foundation. He succeeded. Next, he sent in large numbers of desolate beasts and caused the battle to tilt in his favor. Now, he changed his battle tactics. He built temporary bases and forced the Gu Immortals to attack him instead. Even though Chu Du, Fang Yuan and the rest had the advantage in numbers, and Heavenly Lord Bai Zhu was just alone, he controlled the entire situation, suppressing Chu Du, Fang Yuan and the rest. Even though Fang Yuan and the others resisted strongly, they could not stop the situation from tilting in Heavenly Lord Bai Zhu's favor. Both sides were persisting. But Fang Yuan was the first to lose in attrition. He was a rank 7 Gu Immortal on the surface, but in truth, he had been using Green Grape Immortal Essence the entire time. Chu Du's expression was quite ugly. Especially when he was alone with Fang Yuan, he put away his front and showed an expression of worry. He said to Fang Yuan, I have already recruited all the people I could possible rope in. But this battle's eventual winner will be Heavenly Lord Bai Zhu. Even though we did not fight against his main body, we are unable to challenge the foundation of a rank 8. The real key in deciding victory is not in this battlefield, but the Bai Zhu tribe outside. Chu Du was clear about the situation. He and Fang Yuan had the same idea, after all, great minds think alike. Heavenly Lord Bai Zhu himself had no weakness. His only weakness was the Bai Zhu tribe that he had just recently created. Chu Du's arrangements were taking effect in Northern Plains' Gu Immortal World. Rumors were spread. Heavenly Lord Bai Zhu is attacking High Fan Grotto Heaven. If he succeeds in getting the place, his strength will rise to a new level. Even though Bai Zhu tribe has just been built, Heavenly Lord Bai Zhu is holding it up. Their only weakness is their weak foundation. Once High Fan Grotto Heaven becomes Bai Zhu Tribe's territory, in decades, Bai Zhu Tribe will surpass every Huang Jin Tribe. Heavenly Lord Bai Zhu is a lone cultivator. He does not have Huang Jin bloodline, 
the strengthening of Baizu tribe is actually beneficial towards the survival of demonic and lone immortals. All sorts of rumors and discussions were going on. The main topic was on Heavenly Lord Baizu's threat, and the emphasis that he was not a descendant of Giant Sun Immortal Venerable's bloodline. Not just this, there were some Gu Immortals pretending to be from Baizu tribe, causing trouble everywhere and provoking the super forces. Baizu tribe's leader, Baizu Wai, had already died on the battlefield, and Baizu tribe's new leader did not have enough capability. He was facing huge trouble. He was telling Heavenly Lord Bai Zhu about the difficulties and danger Bai Zhu tribe was facing, and that they had enemies on all fronts. But Heavenly Lord Bai Zhu was unmoved. He replied, This is Chu Du's ploy. Chu Du is neither from the righteous path, nor has the Huang Jin bloodline. If our Bai Zhu tribe deals with him, those people from Huang Jin tribes would be most pleased. Chu Du let out these rumors and pretended to be us purposely provoking those tribes, this is his scheme, it shows that he is weak now on the inside, only putting up a front. The other tribes are not idiots, they could tell what Chu Du was doing, but because of my deterrence as a rank 8, they did not dare to do anything. Heavenly Lord Bai Zhu has excellent astuteness, he was clear of the situation, he was determined to take down Hai Fan Grotto Heaven. He had chosen the best timing. Yao Huang and old ancestor Zhu who were busy refining Gu. Five Elements Grandmaster was busy dealing with longevity heaven, and even though Prince Feng Zion was doing nothing on the surface, he was secretly retrieving blessed lands. For Fang Yuan, it was becoming harder and harder to endure as time passed. To increase his amount of green grape immortal essence, he had to start selling desolate beasts in treasure yellow heaven. He originally had two Spinefin Star Dragonfish. He sold them to replenish his Immortal Essence Stones out of necessity. This was starting to harm his Immortal Aperture's foundation. Earlier, he had been in a positive feedback loop due to his financial management and growth, but now he was facing a vicious downward cycle. Undoubtedly, this was a warning signal. In terms of Blessed Land Foundation, I surpassed Chu Du, but green grape immortal essence is my greatest weakness, thus, I was the first to burn out among the immortals. It seems that after this battle, I need to advance to rank 7 as soon as possible. The battle situation was becoming more intense, temporary camps were already being built, Chu Du had to act in person and destroy them all. Heavenly Lord Bai Zhu chose very good timings on multiple dangerous occasions, he nearly managed to arrive with his true body. Fang Yuan secretly asked Lang Ya sect for help. He said to Lang Ya Lan spirit, this was the best chance to recruit Chu Du. But Lang Ya Lan spirit caved in when faced against a rank 8 Gu immortal. He clearly expressed that Lang Ya sect would not help. If something happened to Fang Yuan, he had to keep Lang Ya sect a secret. If he revealed anything, the alliance agreement would kill him. Even though I can still hold on, I have thought about it. The battle result has been decided. There is no point in wasting more resources. Chu Du decided to give up. He did not conceal this thought from Fang Yuan. He looked for Fang Yuan to talk about it. Fang Yuan had already been wanting to back out. He quickly agreed. However, just as Chu Du and Fang Yuan were talking about their retreat plans, the commotion in Northern Plains' Gu Immortal World changed. All of the Huang Jin tribes, the Righteous Path Super Forces, united and wanted to pass judgment on Bai Zhu tribe. To think that at the final crucial moment, a change for the better had arrived. Chapter 1A180, Heaven and Human Path, Grandmaster Discusses Dao. Some days ago. Longevity Heaven. This was Giant Sun Immortal Venerable's Rank 9 Grotto Heaven. Golden light enveloped the four desolations, an azure hue shone over the eight extremities. Four desolations and eight extremities, these formed the terrain of Longevity Heaven, much like how Sovereign Immortal Aperture had the nine heavens and five regions. And at the heart of the four desolations, at the center of the eight extremities, an immortal goo house was shining in a profound white light. 
shooting towards the skies. It resonated with the entirety of longevity heaven, emitting a loud humming sound. Rank 8 Immortal Goo House, Calamity Luck Altar Three floors of round altars with multiple pillars holding it up, white jade railings and shining aurora. Eight Goo Immortals in Longevity Heaven were standing at the center of the nine corners of Calamity Luck Altar, doing their best to concentrate in controlling the operations of Calamity Luck Altar. At the center of Calamity Luck Altar, lightning was flashing, dragons were dancing, luck was steaming, as clouds enveloped the area. A Goo Immortal's figure was seated on the ground, resisting the might of Calamity Luck Altar. Around him, there was a ring. It was flying around and surrounding his body, emitting light in five colors. Five Elements Grandmaster, you might have rank 8 cultivation level, but inside the Calamity Luck Altar, you cannot turn this around. I urge you to surrender when our four desolation immortals awaken. Perhaps you might have a chance of survival. The leader of the eight Goo Immortals, Heaven Extremity, snorted and said, it turned out that the Goo Immortal trapped in the center of Calamity Luck Altar was one of the five rank eight existences in Northern Plains Five Elements Grandmaster. Five Elements Grandmaster laughed loudly. The rank eight Immortal Goo House is nothing impressive. You eight extremities have combined forces to manipulate it. After suppressing me for this long, even using the might of longevity heaven to try and kill me. But now, you have not even broken through the first layer of my five elements ring. Heaven Extremity, you have the face to ask me to surrender. Heaven Extremity sneered. That is because you do not know the mystical power of Calamity Luck Altar. Its true ability is to reverse calamity and luck, turning calamity into luck and luck into calamity. By interlinking calamity and luck, it becomes unceasing. This is the profundity of heaven and earth luck. As a mere lone cultivator, how can you possibly understand? Hearing the words heaven and earth luck, five elements grandmaster's smugness vanished, disappearing from his face. Giant sun immortal venerable created luck path. His entire life's cultivation was summarized into three parts, self-luck, all living beings luck, and heaven and earth luck among which heaven and earth luck was created during giant sun immortal venerable's later years. It was grand and deep, deciphering the mysteries of heaven and earth. Five elements grandmaster had stalled in his advancement now. He could not break through on his own. Thus, he sneaked into longevity heaven and tried to steal the heaven and earth luck true inheritance. But to think that even though the four desolation immortals were asleep in longevity heaven, the defense still exceeded Five Elements Grandmaster's expectations. After some fighting, Five Elements Grandmaster was trapped inside Calamity Luck Altar. He was suppressed by the eight extremities, unable to get free. Giant Sun Immortal Venerable had three rank eight immortal goo houses in his life. I've known about Calamity Luck Altar since long ago. But reversing calamity and luck, just what constitutes as reversing calamity and luck, Five Elements Grandmaster thought for a moment before asking. The eight extremities looked at each other, evidently surprised. But soon, they reacted. Heaven Extremity sighed internally. I have long since heard that Five Elements Grandmaster has an incredible thirst towards knowledge. When he was mortal, he hid his identity and went around learning from different masters. After becoming a Goo Immortal, in order to obtain some experience and guidance from Goo Immortals, he was willing to be at their beck and call. This time, he actually asked his enemies for guidance inside the formation. He is truly passionate. However, an ignorant person fears nothing. If I inform him of the truth, I can strike a blow at his confidence and morale. Thinking of this, Heaven Extremity spoke. Right now, the outcome has been decided, it is fine even if I tell you. Calamity Luck Altar was purposely left in Longevity Heaven by Ancestor Giant Sun. It was to defend Longevity Heaven. Reversing Calamity and Luck, we can turn calamities and tribulations into our own good luck. Right now, you came to invade Longevity Heaven, it was our human calamity. By using this Calamity Luck Altar, we can turn this difficulty into good luck turning disaster into fortune. 
you will end up contributing to longevity heaven's eternal existence. Superb, brilliant, five elements grandmaster listened with shining eyes, he asked again, if a human calamity is like this, then what about earthly calamities and heavenly tribulations? We naturally reverse them as well. Heavenly tribulations and earthly calamities do not cause any damage, they instead become nourishment for our longevity heaven. Heaven Extremity said proudly. Five Elements Grandmaster had wide-opened eyes. Longevity heaven is a rank nine grotto heaven and has not absorbed any fragments of the immemorial nine heavens. By relying on calamity luck altar, it can go through all of its calamities and tribulations. Ha ha ha! You are already a rank eight Gu immortal, but you do not even know about the origins of calamities and tribulations? Heaven Extremity laughed in disdain. Five Elements Grandmaster was not upset. He asked humbly, I hope you can teach me, Heaven Extremity. Heaven Extremity sensed Five Elements Grandmaster's earnest attitude and the disdain inside him vanished, turning into traces of admiration. He sighed, answering, Why do humans have calamities and tribulations? The truth is, not just humans, but desolate beasts and desolate plants also have them. Like the thousand snakes haze tree, it faces the tribulation lightning. The origin of calamities and tribulations is in the principles of heaven. Heaven takes away surpluses while replenishing deficits, it emphasizes on balance and maintains this over cycles. Any existence which breaks the cycle of balance will face calamities and tribulations. But humans possess the greatest intelligence. Thus, we are more of a threat than beasts or plants. Gu immortals can manage their own small worlds, it draws weariness and attacks from heaven. What is calamity? What is luck? Heaven Extremity suddenly asked. Five Elements Grandmaster had a realization. He spoke immediately, I understand. Heaven takes away surpluses while replenishing deficits. The so-called calamity takes away surpluses, while luck replenishes deficits. Heaven Extremity raised his eyebrows. You answered correctly, that is exactly the case, and my ancestor giant son was extremely talented, he created luck path. It targets the operations of the principles of heaven. Self-luck true inheritance replenishes oneself. All living beings luck takes away others surpluses to replenish oneself. While heaven and earth luck takes away heaven and earth's surpluses to replenish oneself. So that's it. Five Elements Grandmaster sighed deeply. No wonder Giant Sun Immortal Venerable did not enter Heavenly Court during his life. Heavenly Court followed the will of Heaven and upholded justice for Heaven. Meanwhile, Giant Sun Immortal Venerable's luck path usurped the authority of Heaven and Earth. When nature operated according to the principles of Heaven, and an individual was determined to be too strong and breaking the balance, it would generate calamities and tribulations to suppress them. Giant Sun Immortal Venerable's luck path avoided calamities and tribulations, and in the section of heaven and earth luck, it directly turned calamities and tribulations into fortuitous encounters. Heaven and earth suppresses me, it wants to take away my surpluses to replenish others' deficits, then I shall go ahead and take away heaven and earth's surpluses to replenish my own deficits. As the saying goes, there is nothing to say if there were opposing objectives. If heaven cannot use calamities and tribulations to destroy longevity heaven, it will use human calamities to destroy it. Heaven Extremity continued, and you, five elements grandmaster, were subconsciously influenced by heaven's will, eventually becoming the human calamity that is here to destroy my longevity heaven. What a pity that you, a great rank eight, were influenced by heaven's will without even knowing it. Ha ha ha, I have learned much. Five elements grandmaster laughed grandly. Even if it is heaven's will influencing me, so what? This is also my own intention, and I believe that man will triumph over heaven. No matter how vast heaven's will is, it cannot compare to the will of humans. Throughout the long history of humanity, we were so weak and feeble pushed aside and humiliated everywhere, until we became the overlords of the world today, suppressing all variant humans and other life forms under our feet.
The human race is the one that destroys the balance the most, but can heaven suppress us? There were ten rank nine venerables in human history, and countless goo immortals among us. We roam heaven and earth. We can capture stars and overturn mountains and rivers. What can heaven do? Heaven extremity laughed. The other seven also expressed joy. This joy was the joy of meeting a companion, someone who shared similar understanding and aspirations as oneself. Heaven Extremity's laughter faded. It seems that you, Five Elements Grandmaster, have also been reading the legends of Ren Zhu frequently. Of course. The legends of Ren Zhu contains Ren Zhu's human path true inheritance. Every Gu immortal who cultivates to a high level will try to benefit from it. Unfortunately, I do not have the wisdom and comprehension ability, I can only read the meaning that human path triumphs over heaven path. I had once heard that giant sun immortal venerable created self-luck and reached an impasse where he stalled. He only obtained an inspiration after reading the legends of Ren Zhu, creating all living beings luck. After that, he went on to ascend to the immortal venerable throne before creating heaven and earth luck. Five Elements Grandmaster continued. Heaven Extremity nodded. Indeed. Five Elements Grandmaster went on. I am a northern plainsman, born and bred here. Even though I do not have the Huang Jin bloodline, I admire Giant Sun Immortal Venerable greatly. Human path triumphs over heaven path. Giant Sun Immortal Venerable's luck path is deeply using the essence of human path. The trend of the rule of humanity cannot be overturned, it cannot be defied. Even heaven is not its match. Do you all agree with me? Of course that is the case. Heaven Extremity replied arrogantly. Five Elements Grandmaster smiled lightly. The trend of humanity is clear to everyone here. But the trend of Northern Plains, can you see it clearly? Heaven Extremity's expression changed. What are you trying to say? Five Elements Grandmaster said calmly but loudly. Right now, Northern Plains' trend in terms of humanity is that the demonic path is rising up while righteous path is shifting lower. 88 True Yang building collapsed, allowing many lone immortals and demonic path members to gain strength. Heavenly Lord Bai Zhu created Bai Zhu tribe personally, allowing the righteous path to have a different bloodline. Giant Sun Immortal Venerable's hereditary monarchy was indeed a grand aspiration but it was really quite restrictive. Northern Plains is not his to begin with. It belongs to all Northern Plainsmen. The death of a person is like the snuffing of a candle. Giant Sun Immortal Venerable's influence has affected Northern Plains for so long, so many years. It is time to change. A load of nonsense, Heaven Extremity was furious. The other seven extremities also started berating angrily. Five Elements Grandmaster was very tranquil. You are angry and furious, that is because of the fear in your hearts. Giant Sun Immortal Venerable, Huang Jin tribes, they have dominated Northern Plains, ruling over it. It is starting to decline now. Just like the ten great ancient sects in Central Continent, they seem strong, but they are rotten on the inside. There are many internal conflicts and useless members. What about the lone immortals and demonic cultivators? Look at Northern Plains rank 8 Gu Immortals. How many have Huang Jin bloodline? Old Ancestor Zhu who is demonic path, I am a lone immortal. Heavenly Lord Bai Zhu turned from lone to righteous path. Prince Feng Zion is a member of Gong tribe. But he is not of Huang Jin bloodline. Only Yao Huang alone is holding up the Huang Jin tribe's reputation.